We are at the uh, U.S. Naval Base in Groton, Connecticut. This is where the USS Nautilus um, is parked out here in the water. And it's available for tours. And we're going to run inside and uh, see what the submarine's all about. I <laughs> Hell yeah. I was on three classes of submarines. I started off on diesel submarines in 1956. Okay. Then I went to the fast attack submarines. Mm -hmm. in 1958 mm -hmm. and the missile submarines in 1962. Okay, we're here again with uh, James and he's showing me the list of the evolution of the United States Navy submarine force and we're looking for the uh, USS Sturgeon for you Denny. Okay what do we got here? James? Now here's the long, did he, did he know which which one he was on? Oh there was more than one Sturgeon oh, yeah, see that's the long and that's the short. So that's a long and short of it. Right. I don't know to be honest with you. This is the hallway down to the uh, USS Nautilus. This is pretty cool. And talking to the guys here is really neat. Here you go, Denny. This is uh, a National Historic Landmark. This is it right here. We're about ready to, to border. This is open to the public. This is it right here. What a beautiful day for this, too. I can see way over there in the corner is the RV. So uh, let's go on board and uh, check her out. Here we are getting to uh, the uh, torpedoes out. Here we go. Okay, first on the right here is the torpedo room. This is the front of the ship. This is the serious end of the ship. Well, they actually have a couple torpedoes in there. Wow, look at that. Pretty cool. Right, on this side are uh, some of the bunks. Oh boy. Look at the doors you have to go through. <laughs> yeah. This is what they did. I guess I can do it. Here we go. All right. Well, up here is the, uh, it's called the ward room. Oh. Looks like where they eat. Oh, this must have been for officers. Yep. Yeah. For the ship's officers. Yeah. Actually, a pretty nice setup. Huh. Look at the soap. And, uh, and the plates. Yeah. The signals on the plates. First and finest wardrobe mess on that plaque right there. <laughs> Boy, the old real, real tape recorder. Amazing. Okay, down the hallway. And we have some more bunk rooms. What's oh, over here? And uh, some more. Oh, this must be an officer's. Yep. Scared me for a second. There's, they've got mannequins in here that kind of makes it look very realistic. Some more bunk rooms. Yeah, some pictures from home. Another door. Boy, look at the mechanicals on this door. I know it's meant to hold back some serious pressure. Okay, through another one of these. Oh boy. Here we go. I'm showing my age here. Goes this way, and up here it looks like okay, the periscope room. Cool. And all the old electronics. Oh, the ship's alarm panel. Right here. Oh, we can get a better view of the periscope room right here. Yeah, 
this is the uh, navigation center. Radar set. And they still use the sextons. I believe that's what those are. Here is called the Sperry Gyro Compass. It's the main compass that the ship used for all its headings. Pulling all the different levers. Man. Okay, and here's the uh, helmsman station used to operate the rudder, which controlled the ship's heading. Here we have the stern planesman. The station was used to operate the stern planes, which control the ship's angle when submerged. And this third guy is the bow planesman. The station was used to operate the bow planes, which control ship's depth when submerged. While on the surface, the bow planes were stowed in a vertical position. Oxygen breathing apparatus. I'm not sure it was necessary on the old lunar projector. Cruise mess here. Must for uh, services. And, uh, and look at that. They even had ice cream on board. <laughs> Consists of 128 cells, and each cell weighs approximately a thousand pounds. It's a ship's emergency source in an emergency. There's a uh, looks like a damage control toolkit. There's the ice cream machine right there. So here's a galley, and uh, well, here's the old coffee machines. I'm sure you wanted your coffee when you worked on this thing. Well, it looks pretty well set up. Not a lot of room though. And they got some burgers on the grill. Oh boy, another door. Oh, some more kitchen here. All right, another door to go through. Okay, and let's see, down here, more bunks. Boy, those are tight looking. More bunks over here. I don't know if it was a dinghy that told me that uh, they call this hot swapping. They actually use every bunk 24 hours a day. Uh, one guy leaves and another guy jumps back in. They call that hot swapping. Uh, looks like we're back to where we started from. Here's the uh, torpedo launch tubes. And uh, here's some more bunks. Personal uh, effects up on the wall there. <laughs> and uh, they got a guy sleeping on this one here. I mean, talk about close quarters. Look how close your head is to the top there. Arming devices for the torpedoes. And look, <laughs> very. Very smart to have a no smoking sign next to the arming devices. <laughs> so, this is back to the front of the ship. There's a thing there called the ejection pump. Uh, oh, and you can see 
the torpedo tubes up through there. So that, uh, that concludes the tour. The torpedo reload station. This looks like the device that goes back and forth and reloads the torpedoes. So that is it from the USS Nautilus.